Jessica, you have an update to a story that you have been following very closely now for about three months, and it involves a landscaper who is charged with deceptive business practice. He was recently in court, right? Yes, yeah, so that man's name is Diego Ramirez, and I actually spoke with a homeowner who says he paid Ramirez thousands of dollars for some landscaping that he actually never finished. Well, I was in court for his latest hearing a couple of days ago, and a judge told him he must now pay restitution to the three different people that he owes money to. Here's what happened. Diego Ramirez was in court several days ago to face a judge for a hearing about the three charges of deceptive business practice he has against him. KFOX 14 spoke with homeowner Celso Gutierrez back in February. He says he hired Ramirez two years ago for a landscaping job that he never finished. He would just give me excuses. Oh, this is messed up. Oh, we're getting delayed on this. We're getting delayed. It had been four or five months, and that's when on, on my text and even my wife's text to him when I told him that's it. I want my money back. Gutierrez says when he went to the El Paso Police Department to file a report, he was told he wasn't the first person that Ramirez owed money to and was told, Hey, I know that guy. I found familiar. And sure enough, boom, he put up his picture. I'm like, that's him. And now El Paso Judge Carlos Carrasco has told Ramirez that he must pay restitution to the three victims he didn't finish work for. When it comes to Gutierrez, It's going to originally be 18000 but uh, they, they knocked it down to 16000 because of some uh, materials, I guess, that the, the state has to give them. Ramirez agreed to pay $200 to each of the three victims per month until all of the totals are repaid in full. The judge was also in our favor. Um, it looks like we're finally going to get some kind of restitution back. We'll see. We'll see if he pays it off, which he should. He needs to. The county attorney's office is handling the case against Ramirez. Emily Dawson, the chief of the Deceptive Business Prosecution Unit, was in our studios to talk about these cases and says the goal when the evidence shows people have been cheated out of money is to get that money back. Also saying deceptive business practice is something quite common in El Paso. She says last year the county attorney's office prosecuted 168 cases. And it is an ongoing issue in El Paso with home renovation and with these types of projects. She says people can double check with the Better Business Bureau and with the city to make sure people and businesses have the permits they need to operate. And with the county attorney's office to make sure they haven't been prosecuted before. So that we can do everything we can to get you your money back and to make sure that that individual does not commit a second offense. As for Gutierrez, he's already hired a reputable company to take over the unfinished work in his backyard and decided to attend the hearing in hopes of a favorable outcome. Justice. That's all we're looking for. It's justice. That's all I was looking for. Yeah, Jessica, and you were actually in the courtroom when he right. showed up there, and the judge made it very clear how he wants this money distributed. Yes, and making it also very clear that if at any point Ramirez misses a payment or is late on a payment, that he will have to go to trial or will be automatically found guilty. So, of course, I'll continue to keep a close eye on this case for you and let you know of any updates. Hannah.